don't see anything on your channel yet. Let's see. Mm, oh. That's to do it. Should be there now. Uh, oh. Where is it? Nope. It should. Oh, uh, last thing on your page okay. is Granddaddy's Princess. Wait. I'm waiting. Hey, I'm, I'm patient. All <laughs> right. That should be it. It looks like we're live. With Dead Hello. After Dark. Hello, everyone. I am live. It's working. This is my pretty new OBS page. OBS st stage, I suppose. Yes. It is shiny. I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm brain dead. Uh, where, can, can you shoot me a link? <laughs> can I, yes. <laughs> oh, it says you're off air yet, though. Uh, I should not be. Oh dear, what's happened now? This should be it. Let's check. Technical difficulties! Please stand by. Please stand by. <clears throat> now let me make sure I'm set up right. Well, uh, actually, Broken Hearted Liberal saying it looks nice, so I'm assuming that everything is well. Yes, I've got it working. Good for you. Good for you. Hi. Uh, yes, with uh, help of Vamp Candy. So, much credit to her. It's going to get a little fucky for a moment. I've lost the window that actually has the movie in it. There we are. <laughs> All right. So tonight, in the spirit of there being entirely too much drama on YouTube, I thought that I would um, invite some guests and we would sit and watch a... Uh, a, a movie that I actually quite like a bit. It's called The Man Who Laughs. It was, uh, I believe started in 19, yes, 1928. And, uh, it, it was the, um, the main hero's appearance was the inspiration for the Joker, which is what it's famous for. But I just think it's just a really well done movie that's aged quite well. So we're going to get that started. And as we chat, we'll have this in the background because much luck, it's... A silent film. Yay! So we can actually That's talk awesome. over it. Yes, so we can talk over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody wants to hear us talk anyway, right? That's that's what it is. Yes. Oh, oh you sent me a link. Oh, okay. I me... did. That should be the correct watch link. I, I, everyone's oh, telling me it's looking good. Oh, Vamp candy. I like it. Yes. Oh, you, that looks cool. Va like yes, Vab Candy is quite ex excited that this finally fucking works. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, oh, that's that, that looks good. I like that little art that down at the bottom there. That looks uh, that's that's gnarly. <laughs> Thank you. It's a uh, very awesome. heavily altered uh, photograph of myself. <laughs> I like the uh, I like the dental work. It's very nice, very bright. Thank you, it's all natural. <laughs> but yes, I love this movie. When it comes to watching silent films, this is this is the first one that you should watch. I, I would encourage folks, even if you uh, watch the first half that we're going to watch here, because it is a very long movie, that you just go watch the rest or go watch it in its entirety. It's, it's very, very, very good. The Man Who Laughs. Yes. Mm. Have you ever seen that... Uh, um... Uh, what is that silent film with the uh, the golden lady? That's no. also very good. Uh, no. Metropolis, Metropolis, I think. I have not. If that one is in the um, is is in a uh, public domain, I will do that one for. If I get five hundred subscribers, we will watch Metropolis together, um, from front to back. This one I'm going to cut in half because it's so long. So um, the next stream will be the other half of the the man who laughs. And thank That's you, Otha. Yeah. Otha, Zachariah Edward. Tennessee Marine has never seen a uh, silent film before. There are some, uh, the classics are actually very good and they've held up quite well. You've probably, you've probably never heard a silent film before either, Tennessee. Just throwing it out there. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I would very much like to meet the person that's heard a silent film. Well, I mean, they used to have, like, live piano players that are playing piano along with the, with the film. 
That's true. That's yes. that's one of the reasons that I haven't put the audio on for this because this particular version, and I will actually Over. link this person's um this person's uh, channel in my description. I forgot to, but he actually redid the score for this whole movie. All two hours of it. It's very very good, so I will have to link it. Kind of modernized wow. it and such. Cool. So what's the general gist of this movie? Is just some dude that laughs, or what's the plot? So uh, the uh, the main hero, Gwynplaine, I believe I'm mis I am uh, slightly mispronouncing uh, that. He is a uh, circus freak, and you will see in a short moment, uh, his face is stuck in a permanent grin. And it's oh. basically um, a love story, a love drama about him falling in love with a blind girl. That's the, the, uh, somewhat of the gist of it. There's, there's, there's more, of course, but it is a two-hour-long movie. But wow, this is from 1928, you say? Yes. Wow. It's interesting because the hero is—he's someone who seems to just want to make everyone happy, and yet he, uh. He he gave birth to a character that wants nothing more than to sow chaos, which is very interesting in the Joker. You, you'll see it, trust me. <laughs> um, I'm watching, yes. Heath Ledger watched this movie uh, straight through to get inspiration for his character. Amongst other things. What's really it? What's really interesting is it, this was only, you know, what, 20, 30 years or so after they actually kind of perfected filmmaking and they're already making movies. Just amazing. Yes. This time period, they were still very much kind of um, uh, experimenting with what they could do with movies. But since there was no audio to go with them, they, the, the artists had, the actors had to rely on um, body motion and actually actual acting. Be interesting if someone tried to revive this art, the silent film. I bet somebody somewhere probably does. Maybe a film school uh, person <clears throat> probably makes silent films because it's more challenging. Like you say, the, hey, that guy was good looking. Who is he? I'm not sure. He was kind of, kind of hot. He is quite good looking. He's in a very, very rugged type of way. Like a beard barian kind of way. or a <laughs> That kind of way. <laughs> He's if beard barian had to dress for dinner. Exactly. Yes. 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 Wiki says, "Have you heard of silent film?" <laughs> All right, Wiki. Ah. That was. Have you funny. heard of silent? Yet, yeah, yes, we've made that joke. Wikipedia snippet. The joke has been made. Don't beat it to death. In the chat. He's asking for boobs, of course. Boobs. You know, you Show know that'd me. be fun is to... You're getting no boobs unless you pay for boobs. Get a silent film with, uh, like, a porno. For, wait, I'm sure as soon as they figured out how to do film, they probably made pornos. I, I can't imagine they didn't. Yes, but they could not play them on the screen, so they actually had these little machines that you'd put a nickel in, and then you could see the naked lady. Mm. I mean, before this, they were basically selling them postcards and on the back of, of playing cards. Geek says our audio is really weird. Is it me or, or or Lady Thorn? Oh dear. Who's who? I think I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I've been having issues with the audio. This was the main reason I did not stream last week was because I was so frustrated with all the drama going on, and then the OBS wasn't working. And I I'm, I said fuck it, fuck it. I need a break. I will get back to it next week. <clears throat> so. This OBS thing, this is the open broadcast stuff from, uh, uh, Indeed. Open Office or whatever. Yes, it's yeah. a free, it's a free program. Mm, I like free. I like free. I like free as well. How hard, how hard is it to set up? You just have to put, put the right things in the right places and it, uh, it just works? It, correct. It's, it's a layering type thing. I, I'm not sure. very technologically inclined. Geek, you can help. <laughs> it looks like your, um, your computer might be um, coughing a little bit on all the video. It is maybe. coughing. OBS yeah. Studio takes up quite a bit of um, power, but, you know, it's just something to have in the background, which is why um, I 
encourage them to watch the movie on their own. Mm-hmm. Because my uh, my computer is lagging. Oh, God. Wiki, shut up. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. Oh. Geek Thulu, Wait, if you I have... have a wrench. I could have wrenched him. Or is it a her? I don't know what it is. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. You shall be wrenched. OBS is not to be accused, confused with people we will not mention in the stream because we are not causing drama. <laughs> he gets no platform from me. Oh, Logical yeah, Lion. Kind of, it's kind of fun. Hello. Oops. Logical. Hey. Hello, fucker. Well, I haven't been kicked off of line yet, so I guess I'm good. Ah. Gig Thulu, if you have a quick fix for me, please, um, let me know. Yeah, I don't know, it's probably... <clears throat> you might be running into some bandwidth limitations, too, because you got a lot of stuff running on your computer. It's probably starting to cry. It <laughs> oh, is. Oh, no. Let me shut up. It'll probably get hot, too. It's already gotten hot. This computer is... Uh, I've had yeah, it for computer. a few years now. So... It doesn't like this very much. Yeah. I mean, you've seen... You've seen the... Um, you've seen the dump, right? The dump, yes. He's got, like... He's got, like, seven videos running at the same time. And I asked him one night on the, on the chat, and he goes, Oh, yeah, my, my computer's slightly uh, uh, not stock. He's got... He's got a pretty good setup, so yeah, it takes a pretty good amount of horsepower. You can add additional. Oop. You can add an additional sound source to have your what come through. I can't see. Desktop. I do have it. Yes, we tried that, Gig Thulu. I'll have to try again. Yes, I I have a Mac. It won't allow it. <gasps> It's a Macintosh. Yes. That explains it. We, sh we should really just go fund her a real computer. <laughs> you know, I think you're right. I think you're right. Go That's fund you. me a not shit computer. I'll build one piece by piece. <laughs> well, I don't know how well, else... I may you... have enough pieces around my house to build a, a computer. Well, it would have to be and pieces because yeah. I don't know how... How would you get an entire <laughs> desktop through a portal? Hello, Tonka. How would you do what? I didn't hear you. Well, I live in another universe, remember? Everything... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you'd have to have the uh, Stargate. Uh, yeah. Right. Well, not, you would need to go ahead and build the entire damn thing because, I mean, if it's going to be hard to get one through, how hard would it be to send it off piece by piece? Yes. Just give it one good go. <laughs> it's, like, it's, just... it's like the Terminator, you know? It'll, it'll just go through the portal. It's not a problem because it's not, yeah. it's not flesh. You can't be dropping Terminator arms, and then a head, and then a chest, and then... Ah, I've been reminded that boot camp exists. Boot camp might be an answer to this. Let's you run Windows okay. on the Mac. Oh. But welcome to the movie. My eye is looking at the movie. Yeah. You can see her frame rate is a little bit low there. Uh, that's all right. I, I no, it's uh, it's got a charm to it. Yes, it is charming, actually. It's like watching videos on a modem. That was that was fun. It was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like this is nostalgic for several different time periods. That's right. That's right. It hey, is failure, sir. I failure. Well, what's better to decompress? Hmm? What is better to decompress after a lot of drama than a little nostalgia? What has he done? Did he do a stream earlier? What? Surely not. God, no. I've been out of the loop for a few hours. I came back. Someone may have been assassinated. I don't even know. Yeah, well. Probably, nothing's happened, you know? probably just some more bullshit that uh, that Lady Thorne says we can't talk about. Like, yes. politics and shit. No, no politics. Oh God, She's I'm the boss. I'm fighting. Oh, no politics. I, I'm actually up against Jeff Holiday right now with some, some bullshit. 
Yes, yes. I, I was unaware of that. But spe- speaking totally not about politics, is this a White House we're looking at here? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Logical likes new background. It's a great background. <laughs> Elephant in the room is here. I've never had you in the chat before, Elephant. It's kind of, it's a badge of honor to receive the elephant. Lovely. Welcome. Can you tell me why this kid's rocking the scarf the way he is? Yes, it's it, that is the um, hero of the uh, movie. That's Gwynplaine. Oh, that's kind, of, kind of like a, a Japanese role-playing game kind of deal. No, no. The scarf around their face. It's kind of like a ninja thing flowing behind them. His face is disfigured. That's how he hides it. Oh. Uh, this that. man's hair indicates being a villain, right? Uh, no, no. He's not. Everyone in these mov- old movies tends to have some kind of insane hair. Everyone... Objectionable hair. Well, since the movies were silent, I think they just kind of amped everything up to 11 that they possibly could, including the costume and hair. I buy this. Since there's no audio. You have to get as much through as you possibly can. Because the acting is up to 11, the hair is up to 11, everything. Psycho Hamster joins. Hi. <laughs> Two hamsters are better than one. Thank you for tweeting this, Bam uh, Candy. That's very helpful. That, that first one smoking a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Like but what, it's it's starting to get a little bit crazy down here in Arizona. We got all the. Uh, <clears throat> Interesting people from up north coming down here for the winter. My, 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 my. <laughs> Snowbirds. How interesting are they? Uh, a little bit, um, uh, mm, let's just say uh, it's me and about two or three other people in the hotel here that are kind of, we're here for work, and the rest of these folks, I, I don't know why they're here. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, the next door chick, though, I mean, she is uh, awfully cute, but uh, I don't know what they're doing over in that room, but I think you can probably take a guess. Oh, my. Oh, my. Commander Sulu. <laughs> what was that uh, What was that commercial? Was that Sashiba? Was the TV? We've oh. got a yellow LED now. Oh, my. Wait, I, I forgot. He's he's a politics thing right now. We can't talk about it. Oh, oh, I've got to stop doing that impression too. <laughs> <laughs> that that, that impression of him is it's got to go because apparently it's a bit rapey now. A bit. Oh uh, no! Man, when was it? Gotta cease that. When was it not? Can't. Uh... Well, I mean, who who knew that? Uh... They they had such a diverse cast back in the original Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't even know it. <laughs> I, I I deem that this uh, is okay. It's not really, not really politics. Just stupidity. I, I know he's, I guarantee he's furious that he had a sexual assault allegation come out before Shatner did. <laughs> did Shatner have one come out? Too? No. Oh my God. He hasn't. Not, not yet. No, but I know it infuriates him. I'm, I'm sure, sure William Shatner's response to this is probably like, I don't I don't need to assault any women. They just go into my bedroom. <laughs> Stenchy Wrenchy is here. Hi, Willie. But honestly, I don't I don't actually I don't know if I totally believe the allegation against George Takei, but it's clear he's learned absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing from this. You shouldn't make allegations against other people for fear and like, and then be surprised when they're made against you. Shame on you. 
that's an interesting way to go. You know, just just don't make crazy fucking accusations. Right. All that stuff. <clears throat> I mean, you know, if we think about Sulu, uh, is it isn't it entirely possible that in that case it was crossed signals? You know, um, I don't know. When when you get into uh, when you get into the romancing, it's. It's really easy for some people to not not quite know the uh, language of love there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they're speaking the wrong language. They misinterpreted something, everything goes wrong. But, I don't know, depending on, I haven't read the, how, how it's all played out here, but the original story that I heard, it seemed that the signals wouldn't have got crossed. But, you know, it, the more time there is on it, the longer people have to think about it and be like, well, it may have been more like this, and... Stuff like that happens, so who knows? Yeah. I don't yeah. want to throw him under the bus just yet. Hmm. That, that seems to be the the uh, the um, the zeitgeist of the day, isn't it? You know, just accuse somebody, and and well, their their career ought to be ruined. Pretty much, like all of these people that everybody is uh, has pretty much thrown off been completely finished with they've all only been accused yes it's there's uh, been yeah. no criminal trial except except, except the the fat uh, Jabba from hollywood apparently he was he was slapping well, no, he, he was coy about something yeah well no they even if even if they had a suit thrown at them still they're only being accused they're only you know the True. case isn't finished right but again like there's a recording of so, I mean, again, th this is just stuff where, yeah, there are some cases where, sure, it's different than others, but it doesn't take anything other than an accusation right now to get a whole lot of traction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, well, we're not, we're not really talking about this, but there's this, this, uh, there's this other guy that really the only thing that could stick to him is that one incident. And again, allegations from 40 years ago, do, do we... Do we destroy someone's life over that with no proof? Uh, I don't I, know. And I think even legally, it might be that the uh, statute of limitations may have run out. Oh yes, definitely. But I mean, isn't it isn't it uh, isn't it somewhat convenient that these things do come out decades after the statute of limitations? <laughs> isn't that something? Uh, ah, no, because the some... only way you could get the testimony then in in court or in public, right? Yes. Handy. Isn't it? Well, even then, you can you can only sue people for so long. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, look at look at uh, the other the, the chocolate pudding guy. You know, he the pudding pops. Pudding pops. That's right. I mean, he that was that was decades, wasn't it? After yes, this? the sheer amount Some against of... him. <laughs> yeah, in, in the case of Cosby, it seemed like there was a definite pattern. There was at least a pattern of accusations, and there was. You know, lawsuits, and there was settlements and stuff like that. So, logical lions asking right now? if he ran for office with the, the bullshit. Yes, would bullshit in the early twenty in his early twenties come up and be a liability? Yes, they will find it. Well, it seems, and, and again, we're not talking politics. Oh God, yes, we are. But uh, it seems like the conservative or republican side i mean you almost have to be virginal <laughs> as pure snow well, you're... And, or else you're, you're going to be dinged for something but on the other side of things it seems like you could get away with a whole hell of a lot because you have the right thoughts i guess one way to put it very much that is how things as are as you're willing to say the right thing yeah it's almost as though if you I mean, have the I right thoughts, you can get away with anything now. nowadays. It's, everything's gone very tribalistic, and it's quite sad because no one's willing to just kind of try and reach across the aisle. When you do, you get your hands slapped away. I think a lot can be said for people who are willing to talk to people who they don't necessarily like. Mm -hmm. I, I think that those are the kind of people that need to be talked to talk better about a lot more because that's that's something that's really it, it's getting out of 
It's getting out of as much circulation as it used to be. It used to be a much more common trait that people could disagree and then they still talk to people who they disagree with. And it's just less and less common now. Nobody wants to talk to anyone who they disagree with anymore, and that's a real problem. It is. Uh, it's really ingrained these fucking teams. It's really, it's got everybody putting on that jersey every single morning when they get up, ready to defend an idea. They're, they're not defending their idea, they're out there defending someone else's idea. Every yes. fucking day. Yes, people aren't capable of actually thinking for themselves. I want to use the word coherent, that's the wrong word. I'm um, thinking for themselves and coming up with an idea and an opinion of their own they need to march in lockstep with another person and i think part of this is people have this fear of being alone in their opinion and not having someone uh stand behind them and uh, prop them up so they just go with what's easy i, I just uh, i don't understand how people Honestly, can't say. I mean, if it, well, let's not mention, but I think we know of a cabal that might include someone named Steve. Oh God! On the internet's here. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm I'm really starting to think that that Stephen is put it. I think it's a, I think it's a gimmick at this point. I can't believe that anybody could be as dense as uh, Mr. Steve. Do you know who? Uh, is is that's that's the that's the uh, the trick of the stream is not to mention names. That's it. Can't mention names. Yes, this is the trick of the... St <laughs> names make it hot. Uh, yeah, that's easy. You can't mention it. Because I watched somebody did a video of him I watched today at work, and I'm like, how in uh, the hell can somebody actually believe the kind of bullshit that this guy is spewing out of his own mouth? Funny, oh I was... God. I was watching Jeff Halliday's stream and thought the same thing. Him and there is was, something wrong with these people. I mean, there, there has to be something. I mean, or, or is it an act? I don't know. A lot of it's got to be an act. I think it's got to be. It's, um, you say these things, and all of a sudden, now people tie you to your opinion. And now you're invested in actually holding up this opinion. And the lie just grows and grows and s snowballs and snowballs to the point where if you, um... If, if you admit that you were wrong, you're fucked. Completely fucked. Yeah, I think it, it's it's so painful to some of these folks that if they're proven wrong, I mean, they've invested so much of their thought process and so much time and effort, you know, arguing their point that they, they don't want to see contradictory evidence because that would essentially ruin their entire life, you know? Uh, I don't know. Because, I mean, some of these people... They're, they're not stupid, right? I don't think anybody said Lacey was stupid at any point. No. But the stuff that she was spewing is freaking bullshit. No, the, she the, knows it. The, <laughs> the, they're not stupid. It's not a mental disorder. There's nothing like that. It's a cognitive dissonance, like Logical Lion keeps yelling at me in the chat. Cognitive dissonance is the word... It's not stupidity, and it's not a mental disease. Yeah, it's, it's well, it's, yeah, it's a way of processing information. I, I understand that, but, oh my god. It's just insane. But I guess I've run into people that, you know, they, uh, that, that have that in, like, real life. I'm like, how in the world can you think like that? It's, like, insane. I don't know. I probably need to look this up, because I missed this, apparently. <laughs> look which up? Uh, whatever happened on Jeff Holliday's channel earlier. Oh, yeah. I missed this. Oh, that is definitely drama. That is you a dub- you think that guy is just playing a part? Do you think he's just- I can't from... tell. I cannot tell. But you- do... That's- well, they're, they're that good. This is- this- <laughs> We don't this... know if they're actually trolling or not. This is the worst way for him to be allowed to stay in the country. This is the worst possible cause he could have taken up. Yes. Yes. But do you not maybe agree or at least have thought about why do you think it's so important 
Nope. Uh, excuse me. Why do you Hang. think it's so important? It's important. I don't know how they do that nasal important that they, the, the trans uh, folks want to believe that a four-year-old child can determine what gender he or she is. Why do they? Why are they pushing that so hard? I don't know. I don't know. Why is this the hill you die on? Uh, this, wow. is, this is the hill people will hand you a microphone on? Yeah. Possibly. Yes, that's yeah. actually very, very possible. I think a lot of these folks, they push some of these views because if they didn't, they, if they admitted that they were wrong, they wouldn't have a job. They'd have to go get a real job. I know this is the dumbest thing that I believe, but this is the thing that people will let me talk about. They, that they will pay me to talk yeah. about. I need speaking fees. Give me money. Give me money. I will talk about bullshit on a stage if people give me money. Yeah. No, I won't. I wouldn't. I'd feel bad about it. I would. I would genuinely feel bad that I was spewing bullshit. Well, I, I'm, I'm just not a real good bullshitter. That too. Just not. I, I just, I, I just... Maybe it's the way my brain works, or maybe I'm mentally ill, but I just can't bullshit too much. <laughs> I just can't. It doesn't do it for you. I could never be a car salesman. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I, I, I don't know. Well, then again, I was on the radio for like 15 years, so I suppose a lot of that was actually bullshit. I was never, hey, how you doing? It's a great Monday morning. You know, I, I never really gave a shit. <laughs> so, okay, so I can bullshit, but it wasn't, it was almost like a different person. It's like, it's... I was going to say, you don't really have to bullshit to sell cars anymore. Pre people wreck those fucking things enough to where they just walk off lots these days. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean, though. The the tip, the uh, the, uh, the old school, yeah, yeah, yeah. the old school stereotypical carny yeah. car salesman. It's dead now. Oh, uh, hey, Colin. Yeah, I, I, just, I did know. Yeah. I, um, but selling other things, it's sometimes it's easier to bullshit selling someone a bottle of perfume than a world view. Well, I mean, the the politicians have been has have been using those tech uh, tactics to to sell their bullshit as well. So that was that Bernays stuff that was happening back in the twenties or fit or in the teens. The uh, propaganda stuff. You know why why do you why do you buy a certain thing because of the advertising and all that stuff? But you know, I don't know. Push pull or drag. We'll give you two thousand dollars for your trade right and they raised the fucking price 2000 the night before i mean how how stupid do people have to be <laughs> right we will make it lemonade oh, god <laughs> yeah come in have a free hot dog hey what no <laughs> jeez you know i don't know where you where you guys are, are at but here in phoenix i've noticed they still do that kind of shit tent sale and come and take a test drive and all this crap it's like uh, i have a real um difficult time dealing with car dealers i mean did i ever tell you that story thorn thorn excuse me lady thorn probably not i go into this car dealer I, there's, there's this volkswagen this is a rabbit right it's a it's a four-door rabbit it's like yeah i like the car i'll buy the car how much do you want for the car only you need to fill out all this bullshit all these papers well i said no i don't just tell me how much the car is I'll write you a check for the car. Oh, no, that's not our process. I said, I don't care what your process is. Tell me how much you want for the car, and I'll buy it. They wouldn't give me a freaking price until I filled out this paperwork. And I said, no, I'm not. No, thanks. <laughs> I don't want the car. I mean, how stupid do you have to be? Somebody is there with a check <laughs> to buy a car. Oh, no, we go through a process. Because the process, of course, as we all know, is they want to jam your shit through some freaking credit reporting agency somewhere to see if you can get a loan. And that, of course, fucks your credit up. So. But hey, I don't have an attitude or anything. <laughs> I'm a reasonable <laughs> guy. Hey, uh, here, here's some money. No, we don't want that. We're going to run you through the credit report. But okay. I want to give you money. Stop it. Yes, yes. Take the money. <laughs> exactly. Well, who doesn't take money? Oh my god! But yeah, crazy stuff. 
So I tweeted this link out. I'll tweet it again. I'm going to I'll tweet this link out. Oh no, Roman, what are you doing? Come watch us. Let us know if you guys know Roman. No. I haven't heard from him for a very long time. He's he's been quiet. Let's see if I can find it again. Uh, Logic and Lion asked a good question earlier. How important is it? Uh, how important is credibility with YouTubers? And I, I would say I think it depends on the genre of YouTuber, first of all. Just a bit. Hmm. Well, such as... People are going to oh, see credibility does. with a horror YouTuber differently than a um, skeptic YouTuber. Yeah, I don't know. This this whole skeptic stuff, it, it bothers me to some point because, I mean, aren't we all kind of skeptic, <laughs> skeptical lately? Yeah, should everyone, <laughs> everyone should be skeptical. It's an easy, la it's an easy label, yeah, I, I agree. It is, it, but everyone should be skeptical in their daily lives of something. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I mean that's just a that's a normal normal operating mode, you know. You know, you know what I think that people should be more skeptical of. I think women should be more skeptical when they walk into a bathroom before they just throw their butt down on the toilet. They should look to see if the seat's down before they <laughs> and always put the seat down. <laughs> I do not yell at women to always put the seat back up. But they will yell at me because they they cannot just look at things before they throw their butt on it. <laughs> exactly. Yes. When I lived with, when I, when I was a teenager, my mother, oh, you need to put the seat down. Why? Well, because if I go in there at night, why don't you turn on the light <laughs> to see if the seat is down? Well, then I don't, I don't think you're a very good skeptic, Mom. Just, <laughs> just, just reach for it. You don't even need to turn the light on. Just, just feel a little. See if the lid is up. So from, I guess, now on, from now on, when I see there's a female skeptic channel, I'm like, have you ever sat down in a toilet? You ever done that? You're not a very good skeptic now, are you? <laughs> uh, no, sat, sat down on an open toilet seat, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not very good at this whole skeptic thing, don't you think? <laughs> well, we were, talk we were talking about the cabal earlier. How can someone uh, be called, the, calling themselves a skeptic when they believe every piece of bullshit coming down the pike from the feminists? Isn't that the whole idea, is to be skeptical? <laughs> call, 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 me, call me crazy, you know? Uh, Vamp well, says, you, you better put that seat down, Tonka. You better do it. Do it. See, you, you, now you have to put the seat down. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is why she doesn't have a skeptic channel. She's a terrible skeptic. <laughs> she will throw that naked ass into a, a bowl of water in a heartbeat. <laughs> I, I would I would generally check before I put my genitals anywhere near something. I know, right? Like I'm that guy. Like I've always been that way. It's like if if I'm if my junk's going towards something, let's get let's get a quick sight check real quick. Let's let's see what the uh, see what the terrain looks like around here. Exactly. Before we start, before we start putting the dangly bits around it, let's make sure everything's in, in order here. Exactly. Uh, so, logical so lion. Environment to see what's going on. Logical exactly. lion is saying, if you ever sat down on an open toilet seat, you're not very good at the human thing. And for all you people know, it could be a fucking wood chipper. <laughs> you just run around throwing your naked ass on things willy nilly, then complain the men don't put the seat down. That could have been a wood chipper. You could be dead right now. Or there could be a big, huge snake waiting there to bite you. I mean, you know. That is actually a thing. <laughs> That happens in Florida all the time. These big pythons come up and they eat little children and, and cats and stuff. Here we get rats. Occasionally a rat will just... Skeptic cause, channel about that. Well, because you know here where I am, they, 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 they just basically have gravity-fed privy. And sometimes the rats will get in and actually cr clam up through your privy. So it's important that you um, check lest you get a right rat bite on your ass. Oh, yeah, that's all you need is a rat. You know, I mean, ugh. You'd never, you'd never sit on a toilet again. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> See, I can't think about that. You're, you're, you're getting me now. See, now I don't think we have rats in, in Arizona, but they have snakes and shit. So I'm gonna have to look 
cross-eyed at the toilet. Oh, I, 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 I've I never... I, there now. I, I assume those There's rats... There's scorpions and brown spiders and other creepy, crawly thingies. I, 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 as far as I'm concerned... Skeletons and shit. That's right. That's right. We have Gila monsters. I mean, there's a Gila yeah. river. The Gila monsters are here somewhere. There's a Gila river just right down this, right down the road. So you know, there's there's monsters and shit just crawling around down here. And I also found out that when you walk among cactus, they will jump at you. I, who knew that? Who, who who would even think? But the cactuses are, are even alive down here. It's uh, it's insane. Living. Cactus. Everyone is trying to one up one another. Logical lion says, "Fuck that. We have king cobras." That's true. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's that's true. The Kang Cobras. Kang Cobras. We have trolls. I win. But you also have mongoose down there as well, so the mongoose kind of take care of the cobras, right? Mon mongoose do not fuck around. Is it mongoose? Probably is. Yeah. Mongoose. Can, can we get a can we get a stat check on that, please? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is a crate? What the hell's a crate? Logical. Crate. What is that? Uh, is a loot crate? Alright, well, I'll look. Crate. You will regret this. I would. We have a we have a myriad of magical creatures that can just either fuck you over or literally try to fuck you. Oh my god, this is this is cave snake here. The Bungaris Karulius. <laughs> the great Bungulio. The great Bungulio. Oh god. Cornholio. Never mind, venomous snakes. Hey, I'm Cornholio. <laughs> oh, it, it looks like a mundane garden snake. Yeah, but it says it's poisonous and shit. Venomous snake oh, of man. this is where the hell are you at? Australia, logical. I mean, they've got all the deadly uh, shit. Uh, Cambodia. Skittles. Cambodia. Yes. Cambodia. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Skittles, McStabby Pants. Australia. Awesome. Yes. Australia will always win. <laughs> yes, everything in Australia is trying to kill you. Not Never. inaccurate. <laughs> Not inaccurate. I mean, they even got, like, jellyfish and shit that'll kill you. I mean, well, come on. Everything. Koalas Frogs, with... fucking rabbits, <laughs> saber-toothed koala bears. It's, it's insane. Koalas with syphilis. Chat, am I quiet? Let me know. Yes. I am quiet. Little bit, yes. Uh, your audio is uh, blinked in and out a little bit, too. Like it, it seems like maybe your mic gets covered up and then uncovered up sometimes. Is this better? Maybe. Uh, I could be wrong. No better? No, you, you sound a little better now. It good. I cranked the gain up. Give me the gain. Oh, the gain. Broken heart. I meant my. Uh, never mind. I would. I've lived places with poisonous snakes. Climbing through the cracks in oh, your yeah. houses and fuck your shit up. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I was just reading this story the other day where these down by guess where anyone skittles where would this might where would this be located anywhere near. The continent of Australia. These fucking crabs, like the size of a dog, crawl up trees and, and eat birds and shit. It's like, what the? What the fuck? <laughs> oh no, they even had a video of this crab breaking this bird in half and eating it. It's like, oh jeez. That the, had to be seen, right? Is that a coconut crab? You had to look. You couldn't help. Yeah, coconut crab, yeah. yeah. Yes, there's a video I mean, of someone. He has it on a chair, and he just takes a broom handle and gives it to the coconut crab, and it's just like crack, 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 crack. And then he has several little pieces of wood instead of a broom handle. Yeah. Apparently they can, they, well, they're pretty strong. But they look delicious. I mean, they had, they had coconut. Yes, I just see dinner. As well, and they look pretty good, but, uh, yeah. I guess, uh, my, Maxwell, they're not the type of crabs you're used to. <laughs> no. Not that kind. Not that kind, no. No, no, I, I like mine. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, out of left field. That was funny. <laughs> Those crabs, though. Damn 
name right. They say they're a fiddler crab. I mean, I've lived in Florida. Fiddler <laughs> crabs. Crab, are, dope. They're they're like the size of a quarter, not the size of a truck. I mean, it's a little bit different. <laughs> and even those little bastards, if you get them and they they pinch you, that it hurts. They'll dig through your. They'll, they, apparently, they dig through your trash. So if I, if if some people saw that in, in their trash, I'm pretty sure they'd be like, "Well, it's the crab's house now. Goodbye." Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> no kidding. This is now his. Yeah. Fuck that's, that. That's what I heard too. Logical lie says coconut crabs ate Amelia Earhart. <laughs> that was another theory. Oh God. But yes, and and. And there'll be the half of people saying this is uh, the crab's house now, and the other half would be like, mm, dinner. That would be oh, the half of may have had some coconut crab for, for lunch. You, you don't know. It could have been the other way. Mm. I think Tom. I mean, if you're stuck on an island with uh, with uh, Tom Hanks, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to eat uh, eat raw crabs and play with uh, soccer balls. Oh, raw shellfish is disgusting. It's goo. Oh, oh, oh. Like oysters? Oh, no, no, no. No, like, uh, if you crack open most shellfish, like a lobster, it's just green gunk inside. It doesn't even look like meat. And I had to make my a uncle, potion with the giant crab, and it was disgusting. My, my uncle used to eat oysters all the time, and it's like, how can you eat it? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like a living booger. Yeah, it's just some, like, somebody packed a big loogie in a shell. Here you go. Put a little hot sauce on it. It'll, it'll be better. Yum. Ugh. No, thank you. No. But cooked, they're not too bad. No. You know, if, you, if you cook them, they're, they're pretty good. But... Or if the favorite, uh, <clears throat> the favorite Christmas time uh, Minnesota dish, you know, is the oyster stew. Then you know, yeah. Right alongside the Lou Fisk. Mm, yummy. <laughs> and unless you're from Minnesota, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Not even a little clue. Lud- Ludafisk is is this white fish from the Atlantic, and they soak this fish in lye to preserve it. This is the, this is the shit that the Norwegians had to do, you know, 300 years ago because they didn't have any way to store it. So instead of salting it, they put it in lye. And to eat the shit, basically, you have to soak it for, like, uh, a day or something and keep dumping the water to get this lye out of there. And then they cook the shit, and it's like it's like eating fish jello. It's just, oh, God. Ugh. It, that's just rotten fish. I'm sorry? But that's just rotten fish. That's disgusting. It's, exactly. It's essentially this exact... It's rotten yeah, fish true. jello. Why are people in Minnesota eating rotten fish jello? That's something <laughs> wrong with humans. Skittle says Ludafisk isn't safe to eat unless it's soaked in lye. No, no, they soak it in lye to preserve it. And then they they soak the lye out of it when they're going to eat it, I guess. And the the biggest producer of Ludafisk in <clears throat> in the world is... Oh... Norwegian said, we're not going to eat that shit anymore. <laughs> that was, it's Minnesota. It is a Scandinavian dish, logical. That is correct. That is correct. Don't eat anything covered in lye. Lye is for disposing of the body. Well, evidently, it uh, it preserves the fish. Ugh. Haven't, haven't you ever watched that weird, weird, the weird eats guy? The, the baldy guy? Goes around the world eating? He had, he was at a Ludafisk uh, supper at some Lutheran church up there in St. Paul. Ugh. God. <laughs> That's... Minnesota. Minnesota is also the home of the casserole. Yeah. We're not talking That's about worded. food. It was... What's that? Food. Hmm. Yeah, like goulash, you know, put the hamburger in the... In the... And the tomatoes and the, and the noodles in there and cook it. MC Hammer. MC, what's up? Yeah, logical says Hello. kimchi is rotten. No, well, it's, it's, well, so is sauerkraut. I mean, that's, it's fermented. No, no, it's so fermented. Guess... That's not the same thing. Fermentation's not the same as, as just letting it rot. 
and and gelatinize. Yeah. Gosh, I wonder. Let me see if I can find a fisk. Oh, I've God. been told kimchi is actually quite a good topping for things. Pretty delicious. Oh, I like the fermented cabbage. That's tasty. I like it. Um, oh, they even have it in Finland. So all the all those Nor Norwegian or Scandinavian countries eat this crap, apparently. Not surprising. Uh, beer is fermented. Yes, indeed, MC beer is fermented. As is wine. I as like is beer. yes. I like I like the mead. The name literally means lie fit. I like mead. Mead is good. It's mead, nice. yes, yes. I, 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 like a, I like a drink that you can actually chew on a bit when you drink it. Just go to the Renaissance festivals. They usually have mead there. It's pretty good. I, like I have it. mead here. And if you read Beowulf, of course, that's all they do is get drunk and drink mead. That's, uh, that's the whole story. <laughs> Half the time, though, if you, drink the, if you drink the water here, you get the shits and die. That's true. It's true. So, drink mead. Your life depends on it. Well, you know, that's apparently how the uh, uh, things were back then. They made beer. Although I, I read something debunking that as well, that the old story that the water was so bad that everybody drank beer instead, but it's kind of a neat story. But well, also, you can the, uh, old days. boil it. You, there is always boiling it. If you're not a complete well, true, idiot, but they they might not have known that would that would cure things back then. But we're talking dark ages here. They didn't they didn't know. <laughs> Even no. in my world, they don't throw the throw the waste products out the window. We at least have privies. They, oh well, that's that's positive. That's good. It's good. Yeah, yes, it's a start. Not quite indoor plumbing, but close. Close enough. Close Possible enough to line. not be yes. hit by shit walking down the street. They say, oh, you know, that actually used to happen, Lady Thorne. In, in one of our big cities called New York. They didn't have, they didn't have indoor plumbing in the uh, tenements, so they would, they would shit in a bucket and throw it out the window. <laughs> Honest to God. There are a few, oh, there God, are a few older... Yes, there are a few older, poor cities that are like that in my world, and you still have to walk kind of close to the uh, buildings, lest you get hit mm, by yes. something. Yes, yes. Or some an umbrella. Yes, yeah, some people are especially assholes, and they don't wait until the um the the washing boil has cooled down before they dump it out the window. There you go. Olenska without the Russian accent. What? Oh, Skittles. Oh, okay. Oh God, hello, Skittles. He's Bob asking Goliath where Thorn is. Know. They had very bad septic. So, well, I mean, that was the... <clears throat> isn't that how... What was the deal in London where they figured out, finally, that the Thames was so polluted that that was what was causing one Co of their outbreaks of something? Cholera. Some cholera, probably. Or just it was cholera. Well, cholera is caused by uh, tainted water. If you have a bunch of people that have cholera, they're taking a shit, and then that cholera-infested shit is going back in the water, everyone's going to get cholera. Why, why would it have been a good thought process to say, you know, uh, let's, let's dump the shit downriver from where we are, so that way we can still pull water out of the river, and it won't be contaminated with shit. Because There's an idea. Yes, because humans are short-sighted. Very no, short, very passed. short lives, very short-sighted. Uh, cholera. I remember reading about that. <clears throat> Some it, guy figured uh, it out. It takes several generations sometimes for a trend to be noticed. Well, gee, I like this clean water. I don't like this water with poop in it. Uh, maybe we should figure something out. Maybe we shouldn't but jump our they... shit in drinking water. What's that? Is it maybe we shouldn't dump our shit in our drinking water and figure something out? It's probably a very good idea, yeah. MC says because London was large. Yeah, they, it was kind of, yeah. I'm sure they had their issues. That, you know, we, we think, you know, 
even three, four hundred years ago, I mean, we didn't have sewage systems, and we didn't have running water, and we didn't have a lot of. Well, the Queen probably did, but mm. us mere mortals, we didn't have such a thing. If you take a look oh, at the video, you're seeing a scene. Um, you can definitely see the um, resemblance of the hero to the Joker. Oh yes, absolutely. You're probably right. That's probably where they did get it from. Oh, it absolutely so is. That uh, the, one of the uh, more famous comics that he exi- that he he appeared in is called "The Man Who Laughs" because he's based on this character. Hmm. Interesting. So you're you're a comic book geek? Is that what you are? I enjoy them. I enjoy reading all sorts of things from your world, from my world. Yes. Even us mere mortals sometimes come up with fun things. Yeah. Well, where, did, uh, where did Tonka go? Did he drop off? I'm not sure. He was dealing with a personal matter. He may have dropped off. I haven't looked at the hangout. Yes, he has dropped. Ow. Oh. Alright. It is fine. He warned me. The film oh. is uh, The Man Who Laughs, Logical Lion. From 1928. Are we going to do some ASMR? Ugh. I thought, at Skittles, I thought that we could just have a nice little chat stream and, like, decharge from all the drama that's been going on. That's what this is. It's a movie and talking. (laughs) And, uh, for those who have joined me, um... If you are ever interested in getting into silent films, The Man Who Laughs is a great place to start. Yes. See, logical lion brings up vintage porn. We were t- we were talking about that right away. We were. There's got to be some of it out there. There's got to be. I- am I really that low? No. Is this any better? You. you can. Yeah. Which way is up on this fucking game? You're you're a little low, but it's not. Uh, well, I can't really hear myself, but uh, compared to me, you sound okay in my headphones, but. Unfortunately, I can't hear myself either. I have no way of monitoring my audio just yet. It's not a Japanese movie, Logical. It's from the United States. You don't have a set of cans? Uh, headphones? Yeah, I have um, pods. Oh, yes. Earpods. Yes, yes. But currently, things are playing through my speakers. Because it's the only way I have for people to actually be able to hear you, Hapster. See. Now I'm she loud has, as fuck. Logical, logical, logical says you. She has nice cans. <gasps> oh my. I'm oh aware. My. I'm aware. Hunger Games make money pimping out furries. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Thorn doing that. Yes, it's Lady Thorns Kittles. Shame on you. Bask in her greatness. The yes. glory of Lady Thorn. And, and Thorn, you crackhead, I know. <laughs> Call me a crackhead. <laughs> don't, don't you do not talk to me for over a week and then come in into my stream and call me a crackhead. <laughs> Fuck you. And I have no idea. I always thought that they chose the, uh, that they stole the concept from the lottery, but that's just me. It's, it's like someone read the lottery and they just went with it. Yeah, I'm gonna mute myself for a minute, lady. If I have your permission, I have to <laughs> use the toilet. It's no problem. I'm I'm actually running up on an hour, so um. I may be cutting the movie in half, and next week we'll watch the rest of it. Oh, okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll hold it. Uh, Logical, yes, the, the, um, the short story, The Lottery. It is a great story, I love that one, and, um, Immodest Proposal is another one of my favorite short stories. Uh. (laughs) God. I have no control over the chat. Um, 
<laughs> yes, but if you like, we are going to be cutting the movie, and where is the movie stopping? Oh dear, I'm sorry, hamster, I'll let you get to the bathroom in a moment. Ah! Why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? I can't find the window. I have that problem where I have too many open. Can't find the window? Oh no. No. Stop the film. The film. Stop the film. Stop. All right, we are stopping it at exactly 58 minutes into the movie. So, 58 minutes out of um a two-hour movie. If you would like to continue where it is or simply watch the entire thing, I will link the original video in my uh, in my uh, description. But for now, we're going to go. And uh, earlier on, we had Tonkasa, your host of Grapple Vision and the Morning Kum Kumite. I almost said Kumite. And uh, Hamster, would you like to shield yourself before we go? Yes. Come to my channel. Sub me. Subscribe. Enjoy my content. Yes. But it's always much more fun to be here with Lady Thorn. So look for this too. <laughs> yes, there will be more. Now that I have figured out the basics of the OBS, I will continue to add things. Next time it won't be so silent. I'm going to add some music. Hopefully. But it's been lovely chatting with the chat and chatting with you, Hamster, and chatting with Tonka for as long as he was here for. And, um... Yes. Thank yeah. you. Good night, all. Night. Good night. Where is OBS? I am terrible at this. But what do you expect? <laughs> Good night, all!